August at the University of Otago is Graduate Research Month as the facility highlights the work of its postgraduates. 39 Dunedin News is hosting four of the city's young academics to get some idea of what they do. The final of the four is working on a PhD in international business. Good evening, Pramak Pereira. Good evening. Now, please tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and what you studied as an undergraduate. Uh, I'm from Sri Lanka and I completed my first degree uh, at the University of Sri Jayadanapura. And uh, my master's degree is at uh, University of St Andrews in UK. I work for corporate sector mainly in international business while I was living in Asia, Europe and Middle East. And now I'm happy to be in uh, Pacific as well. Mm. Now your research is looking at the New Zealand-China Free Trade Agreement. Explain to viewers the, the basics of that agreement. Well, a free trade agreement is a, a agreement that's signed between two countries that gives free market access. Uh, New Zealand and China signed the agreement in 2008. The uniqueness of this agreement is uh, New Zealand is the first developed country to sign an agreement with China and also this agreement opens the doors for New Zealand as well as China to look into areas such as investment and services as well. Mm. Now you're studying the influence that that agreement has on firms based in New Zealand. How are you doing that? Um, I'm taking two approaches. The first one is a macro level analysis of the trade data to find out whether there's a real impact. Uh, but that, that's not enough because I would like to know what firms think about this agreement as well as how they have used this agreement to improve their business. Mm. So I'm going to interview a lot of local firms as well. Mm. What have you discovered so far? Um, there is a huge increase uh, in the trade from New Zealand to China, doubled uh, during the last few years, and also have uh, identified about 25 local industries reacted positively for this agreement. Mm. What could the completed research be used for, do you think? Definitely the findings of this re research is extremely important for New Zealand government to reshape their trade policy and also to the local companies to take the correct decision mm -hmm. when they're going into the different countries. Mm -hmm. So, you know, increasing trade increase the uh, uh, number of jobs and increase the growth. So I openly invite New Zealand government and the local firms to join hands with me to do this project together. What sparked your interest in this particular subject? Um, well, I, I was mainly into international uh, business in the corporate sector. I have led uh, trade missions in Africa, Asia, and even United States. So uh, I fell in love with this, uh, this field and I just wanted to uh, contribute more. Mm. Now, what are your hopes for your career once you finish your studies? Um, well, the the knowledge that I'm going to gather out of this research definitely help any government or any international organization, mainly the, to the New Zealand government. So I'm more than happy to extend my services to New Zealand government. Pramak Pereira, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.